I give you praise, mighty God. I give you praise. I give you praise, mighty God, everlasting Father, King of glory, 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 Please, wherever you are, the Locust Army family, I want to begin to call you on for a kind of a midweek prophetic teachings and understanding. Please, I would like you to call your neighbors and everybody that the prophet is online and uh, I am here to make sure that fresh understanding and the glory of God rest upon you. So wherever you are, I want you to connect immediately, everyone, 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 please connect with me, connect right now. Jesus, draw me close. Close walk with him. Daddy, let the walls around me. Fade away. Jesus, draw me close. Close. Walk with him, for I desire to worship and obey. Jesus, draw me close. Jesus, close I walk with thee. I sell the walls around me. Fade away, for I desire to worship. And obey. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, Baba, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. I am calling all the Lucas and my family. Please call your friends, call the people. Let them join online that it is the hour of the word of God. I still believe that how you live your life is a product of how you are informed, both spiritually and physically. There is no man that can live beyond what you know. Your level of heart impartations and information determines how your spirit will operate, how your heart will function. And that's why in the days of new things, in the days of new encounter, God believed that he will give a people shepherds. And the job of these shepherds is to feed the people with knowledge and with understanding. Let me tell you two things that knowledge and understanding does. Knowledge and understanding are very important because 
they are the determinant factor of the kind of decisions and the kind of choice you make. And decisions and choice are two spiritual elements that determines how your life will go. Anytime you take a particular decision, you have shaped your destiny in a part. Anytime you take a particular decision, you have explained to everybody how you want your future to look like. God said to Israel, I set before you today life and death, blessing and cursing. He said, choose. But God said, choose life so that both you and your seed shall live. So knowledge and understanding are very important because they are the spiritual catalysts that helps you to make right choices, that makes you to take to make right decisions. So I am calling everyone. What I'm going to be doing in the next one hour is to bring to you spiritual understanding. One, it will give you boldness, and then it will uh, give you what we call self-esteem. It will improve the capacity of your confidence because of what you have learned. So please call other people. I want to see more people online. I want to see more people that is fellowshipping together. May God bless you. This night, I will be preaching measuring yourself from cost price or from your cost price. Measuring yourself from cost or from your cost price. The first scripture we are going to be looking at is Hebrew chapter 20. Hebrew chapter 20, we are going to be looking at verse 20. No, Acts of Apostles chapter 20. We are going to be looking at verse 28. Acts of Apostles 20. We are going to be looking at verse 28. Verse 28 said, Paul was talking to the church in Asia. He said, For I have not shown, shown to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Take heed, therefore, unto you, unto yourself, and to all the flocks over which the Holy Ghost has made you overseer to feed the church of God, to feed, to feed the church of God, which he had purchased, which God had purchased with his blood. Please, I want you to underline that scripture, Acts 20 from verse 28. He said that you might feed the church, the church of God, which Christ has purchased with his own blood. I am talking about measuring yourself from your cost. Measuring yourself from your cost. All of us know that when you go to the market world, everything has a cost. And when you see a cost, what a thing costs, it will give you one simple message. It tells you the value of that thing. When you see a cost price of a thing, it tells you that this thing is valuable or not valuable, not too much valuable. When you see a price of a thing, it explains the usefulness of that thing. <laughs> Two things I want you to remember, don't forget it. When you see a price of a thing, one, it explains the value of that thing. Two, 
it explains the use of that thing. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It explains one, the value of that thing. And two, it explains the usefulness of that thing. And that's why if you go to a market, when you enter a shop, you see that every goose that is in the shop got prices, varieties of prices. And each of their prices, they may look alike. They may, they may be similar, but different in price. What it means that looking alike doesn't mean that this, the things have equal values. I am trying to build a foundation so that you can understand where we want to go tonight. Now, the place we read, Apostle Paul began to speak to the church in Asia. He said, feed the church of God. For which he had purchased with a cost price. And the Bible said that the church was purchased with a price of blood. <laughs> oh my God. Something will happen here tonight. Something will definitely happen here tonight. If a value of a thing is determined by its cause. Then, if Jesus can give up his blood to purchase you, to buy you, <laughs> it means there is something about you that is of value, that is of usefulness. Maybe you don't see it, but he that have all eyes, have seen it and he paid for that thing. He paid with a price that there is no currency of the nations from dollar to pounds to rands to naira to whatever you can name. Was able to pay, but he purchased with blood. Tonight, we are going to do what I call transactions of blood. Tonight, we are going to see why a deity has to give up his blood for you. You are purchased with a blood. <laughs> you are purchased. You are bought. Hey, I declare tonight that whatever move, mystery that gave God impetus, the energy, the audacity, the liberality to use his blood to bring you to himself, that thing shall be discovered. That value, that usefulness shall be exposed tonight. And you are, as you are listening, wherever you are listening from, I am telling you, you are going to stand up and then self-confidence and power will come upon your spirit. Jesus paid with a blood for you to be with him, for you to come to him. For you to be part of him. Hey. Hey. I pray. Anybody that is hearing me. From tonight. You must not make yourself ordinary. You can see your value. You can see how you are measured. From the price that was paid. For your freedom. You can see how you are measured from the cost it took God 
to bring you to himself. Don't play. Don't play. I want us to look at this scripture, Hebrew chapter 9. The book of Hebrew chapter 9. We are looking at verse 22. Hebrew chapter 9. We are looking at verse 22. Lada <laughs> Karabasak. Hebrew 9. We are looking at verse 22. 22 said, It was therefore necessary that pattern, okay, and almost all things are by the law, porched with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. Without shedding of blood is no remission. <laughs> I want to begin to speak to you things maybe some of you don't know. The mysteries in blood. The mysteries that hangs around blood. Please, I want you to know that blood is spiritual. Blood is Offered through eternal spirits. And what determines the value of every blood is the life of that blood. What determines the value of every blood is in the life of that blood. Every blood has life. In fact, the Bible said in Leviticus 17 from verse 14, he said, the life of every animal is in the blood. Is in the blood. Is in the blood. So if you want to know how powerful a blood is, check the life of that blood. And that's why there are people that die. Nothing happened. But there are people that die. The earth we quake. Environment we enter into commotion. <laughs> there are people, if you touch their blood, earthquake will take over the entire community. There are people, if you touch their blood, nothing happens. The difference between these two blood is the life of that blood. Child of God, your blood is not powerful if you don't have a powerful life. It is the life of men that make their blood valuable. The blood of Christ is powerful because of the life of Christ. The blood of Christ is powerful because of the life of that blood. And another thing I want to tell you tonight is <laughs> every blood has a voice. There is something every blood speaks. And what determines the voice of every blood is ideological life of a blood is what determines the speakings of that blood. A blood cannot speak louder if that blood is not a righteous blood. That means if you don't have a righteous life, your blood may not have too much voice. And that's why when a, when the, when, when a criminal is killed, nothing happens. Nothing will ever happen. Nobody will suffer anything. Because that blood of a criminal is an unrighteous blood, so it, does, it doesn't have voice. Let me show you from the book of Genesis 4, from verse 10. Genesis 4, verse 10. Please, 
If you are with your Bible, you can be checking with me those scriptures. Genesis 4, verse 10. Genesis 4, verse 10. Oh my God. 4, verse 10. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. <laughs> the voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which had opened her mouth and received thy brother's blood from thy hands all of us maybe we are familiar with this story of Cain and Abel they made a sacrifice Cain became jealous took his father took his brother to a field as though they want to go and do work and they killed him there and the Bibles and God begin to speak to Cain and say Cain I am sitting in heaven I was just relaxing in my heaven and I heard the voice of your brother's blood crying to me from the earth. Hey, <laughs> tonight something will happen. Any demon that want to harass you will hear something. I am telling you. I am setting up something. Please, I am calling on the army wherever you are. Something is going to break out. I am just setting a platform. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go search in the heaven. As the spirit of all spirits. As the father of all fathers. As the father of all spirits. And the voice of blood was coming from the ground to him. A voice of blood. Can I tell you something child of God. Blood speaks. Blood speaks. And God, and God said to Cain, this is what the blood of your brother is saying. That the ground is cursed for your sake. That you are going to be a vagabond and a fugitive all your life. And the people will pursue you to kill you and you, and you will pursue people to kill you. That is, you will live a life of restlessness. Cain. He said that is what the blood of a bell was speaking now hey <laughs> in the book of hebrew chapter 12 from verse 24 the bible begin to compare the voice of the blood of a bell and the voice of the blood of jesus <laughs> The Bible begins to say that the blood of Jesus, that is the price that was paid for you, that was the cost, that the blood of Jesus was a cost for God to bring you back to himself. He said that blood speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Tonight, please, I don't want you to launch yourself into religion. I don't want you to say, we have had it. I don't want you to be familiar with what I want to say now. I, wa I don't want you. I want you to know that if you are connected to Jesus by faith, I, I, I say to you by God that you will see that you are connected to a blood that speaks better things. And when you are connected to a blood that speaks better things, <laughs> I am telling you tonight, the spiritual climate of your life is about to transform. The spiritual galaxies is about, and that's why, let me tell you something. You can have rich heritage in God. But if you don't know, 
it will always appear you don't have anything. Because everything in the kingdom of God responds to man according to the decree of your understanding. Everything in the kingdom of God responds to man according to the level of your understanding. The Bible said the seed that was sowed so, on a good ground that brought, that brought 30, 60, and 100. He said, that seed, he said, these are the people that had the word and understand it. So whatever you will have with God, is not all that God has. It is all that you understand. And that's why I am crying from the altar of glory that may the Spirit of God open the innermost temper of your understanding to plant in you the understanding of the voices of Lord and to know that it doesn't matter how people are dying everywhere, how people are getting infected and diseased, molested and harassed, you will not be touched because of the voice of a blood you are connected to. The cost price of your redemption. Hmm. 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 Lada karabashana. Leke to rabashakatayarabala. Let me tell you what will happen tonight. Let me tell you what happened tonight. When a battle of life becomes a battle of blood, listen, devil is helpless. Devil is helpless. <laughs> the kingdom of God is a kingdom that was established by blood. The blood of Jesus was shed at the foundation. Of this eternal kingdom. And that's why. It is a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Even states. Powers. Authorities. Principalities. Fake Christians. They want to destroy the kingdom. But hear ye the word of the Lord. You will never prevail. The blood. That instituted the kingdom of God. Is stronger than your. Manipulations. Stronger. Too far stronger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So tonight, I want to ask you, what kind of blood is running through your life? Every life of man is found in blood. Oh my God. Life of man is found in blood. That means the way you are here now. If we check your blood. Spiritually speaking. We can understand the kind of future you have. Because your life runs in your blood. These are the reasons tonight. Any wickedness that the devil has planted in a blood system. In your blood system. That is running through families, everybody in the family. God has sent me tonight to tell you that blood will touch you with blood. Blood will touch with blood. Hear this. Anytime evil runs in blood, that evil with tarry. Anytime evil is projected into people's life through blood, listen, that evil have a way of doing so much things. That's why so many times people do things they don't have control over. That's why so many times People go to places they don't know why they go there. That's why so many times strange thoughts rise up from men because of the kind of blood 
that they carry. If you are listening to me tonight, what kind of blood are you carrying? Whose blood is in you? Whose blood is running within your vein? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that every evil that have been planted in your generational blood and this evil is running through your blood God has brought me tonight to evacuate such blood, ugly blood system. And the blood of Jesus shall begin to run through your system. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey! Lata la barakota zibralia. Luprene kete libra. La suzie kete ripra na kata yisie keta. Lo zavada kata yasisia. Para nadusha. Le granada yes is a Everywhere you are hearing me from, I am visiting your house right now. Every evil that was connected to the bloodstream. Suddenly you see a young man stealing, arrested, put in prison. What is that that prompted the stealing? They say he has bad habits. A bad habit that flow from blood. You see a young Womanizing everywhere, drunkard. You see people misbehaving. You see a man poor, wretched. You think that this demon that is attacking you. I want you to know that most of this demon runs in blood. And tonight, I want you to know that every strange blood that is making your life miserable today. Even tonight as you sleep, some of you are going to have encounter. You will see nurses of heaven come. And something, something like blood, blood diffusion, blood, blood excretions will happen in your life. And the new blood that flow from eternal heaven shall flow into you. Evil and good runs in blood. And that's why there are people that prosper. Whether they know Christ, they don't know Christ. Do you know why? Because of the blood they inherited. There are people that are poor, not because they are not working hard. They are working hard, they are intelligent, but they cannot be rich because, because of the blood they inherited. I want to ask you, child of God, what kind of blood is holding your life? Remember we read in Leviticus 17 verse 14 that the life of every flesh is in the blood. The life that means your life, if you are here, whatever that is happening to you, is not actually because of the devil that attack you outside. Maybe most of them are things that flow in your blood. You are going to the church. Things happen to you like an unbeliever. Blood. You are, 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 you are going to church. You are committed. But every day. Evil keep on. And do you notice that the nature of the same evil that is happening to you is the nature of the evil that happened to your brothers or your sisters? Blood. Today, God has sent me to say to you, you can be free. You can be free. There is something they, 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 they do in a hospital. They call it dialysis. They call it in biological term, they, they, you know, in a medical term, they call it dialysis. That is a process where a blood will go and another blood will be injected. Tonight, tonight, angelic nurses and doctors are gonna visit you. Listen, I am not preaching this thing because of. I read the Bible. I am preaching this thing because it was a clear encounter. It was a clear revelation that, that made me more confident than ever. That a man can be brought low because of the evil that runs in the blood. And a man can be lifted because of the glory that runs in his blood. Do you know what that glory does? It ministers a kind of thought to you. It moves you in a, a, a particular dimension. 
it makes you to see things in a particular way. It makes you to understand things in a particular way. Because this thing is in your blood. It's with you. It's in you. <laughs> hey! I pray tonight that everyone that is hearing me from this day forward, a spiritual dialysis is going to go through you and hear me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood that minister death, that minister poverty, that minister frustration, that minister sickness, that minister all manner of shame, all manner of bad attitude shall be removed from you. Dialysis is the reality. Removing a blood and putting a blood. Have you not seen some, some people that lost blood? They say, yeah, there is no blood or there is no blood. Get blood. And they will go to blood bank. Get the blood and refuse the person. <laughs> Tonight, the blood of Jesus shall flow from the power of eternity. And every wicked blood running into your vein shall be replaced with the blood of Christ. And the Bible said, this blood speaks better things. Who is listening to me that want to enter into a better season? That want to enter into a better tomorrow? Who is listening to me that want to enter into a better reign of life? Who is listening to me that want to see a better things? I am showing you spiritual dimensions to go. Ah, listen to me. It doesn't matter the school you go to, the people you meet. If an evil that is of wicked is in your blood, that evil will mess you. That evil, that evil will come for you because it's in you. This is a dimension of deliverance that only laying of hands doesn't do. It does understanding and then open up yourself for angelic encounter. It does understanding and then open up yourself for spiritual reality. I am sensing some people that are hearing me tonight. You are going to have a visitation that is beyond words. You are going to have, you are going to begin to see yourself in a spiritual laboratory where a particular blood that carry debt, that carry poverty, that carry shame and disappointment is being removed. Going out. Going out. Going out. If a human being can put another blood in a man, <laughs> God is better than man. God is better than man. Something is about to happen. Please, I am calling all the locals army. Let them not miss this broadcast. I want them to connect to this. This year is a year of blood for you. This year is a painted with blood. Because a new beginning is being announced in the spirit. Some people that were called nobody shall rise as a pillar of hope for generation. Because the evil that brought them down through blood, is going out. It's 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 going out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let me tell you this. It will take faith to connect to the reality of the blood. It will take faith, faith, faith. Let me show you. Romans 3. We are looking at verse 25. Romans 3. Romans 3. We are looking at verse 25. Hmm. Faith connects you to the efficacy and the reality of the blood of Christ. Faith. 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 Hey, somebody, faith. Faith. Lata la caraba senta la baya. Lita lo barana saya. Faith connects you. Everything 
that you need to witness around the blood. Faith connect you. Faith in the blood. Romans 3. We are looking at verse 25. Hmm. He said, 25 said, Whom God has set forth to be, whom God has set forth to be a appropriate a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sin that are past through the forbearance of God. Hmm. 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 Today, I declare, may you connect to the blood. I declare, may you connect to the blood through faith. Through faith. Ah. La Torre Bo Santa Yamaba. La De Bruno Cotayaraba Santa Yamaba. Le Prene Cororo Santa Yamaba. I feel like I should pray for you. Fire is burning in my spirit. I feel like I should pray for you. I feel like God will visit you tonight. Wherever you are, I want you to lift up your hands and begin to say, Lord, every evil blood that is flowing through my system, I am asking tonight, let heavenly nurses and doctors, let them visit me tonight for blood exchange, for blood exchange, for blood exchange, for blood exchange. Every wickedness that runs in blood, you are over. You are over. Let spiritual dialysis begin to happen in my life. Let spiritual dialysis, let the blood of Jesus flow into my system. Let the blood of Jesus flow into my system. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody begin to pray. Begin to pray. Zadaya katalabaros. Lata ya zenta la prana kataba ya rabobos. Le prana kaya de seze kete ya bababa. La torra pronta ya ke sazika. La sele frata ya barados. La sila barades. La sele seko prana ya da. Barata ya kates. Barata ya da sek. Jeta ya kata. Barati na kala ye bushanta ya ba. Marata ye zazakata ya. Aparata ya seze keto ya barababa. Wherever you are, join me in prayer. Join me in prayer in the Holy Ghost. Yes, I deca pera de ya kata yesata. Barata na sese kete ya rosa. Ete ya branaka ya sasa ya dadadara. Hey, Holy Ghost. Manta ya daga. Aparada ya salavara dadada. Let the blood flow. 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 Let the blood flow into my system. Every blood that carry death, get out of my body. Every blood that carry poverty, that carry shame, that carry sorrow. Every blood that speak evil in my life, get out. Shaka, 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 shaka. Child of God, I want to ask you. Which blood is speaking? Which blood is speaking in you? Which blood? Which blood do you inherit that is speaking in you? Which blood is making your things not to work? Which blood is making your life miserable? Which blood? Hey! Brother Liberty come, liberty come by blood, liberty come by blood, liberty come by blood. Jesus, I come to you. Jesus, I come to you tonight. Jesus, I come to you tonight. Jesus, I come to you tonight. Let your blood flow, 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 flow to the girl. Flow to that mama. Flow to that family. Flow, flow, flow. Shaka ta yada. Rasha sha. Shata zadara. Shata ya kataba. Rapata kayala. Shata kapara diaka. Rata ya kapara da yadusa. E prada kayadisa. E prada. Prada ka. Parada yasa. Shaka ta yada bada. Marata yadisa yadaka. Resia paradia. Paradia paradia paradia. Paradia 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 paradia. Paradia, 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 kataya, jakataya, dada, rata, 
Ratayes. Thank you, Father. I want to pray for you right now. I cannot do anything. There is something I am expecting to happen to you. And some of you who are watching, you are going to give a testimony of how you are visited, how a certain strange heavenly nurses came and put some heavenly gadgets around you, and then they were excreting blood that speaks evil in your life. They were busy removing all the blood that carry a voice of darkness, inherited from family history, removing them, blessing the blood of Jesus that was offered to you through eternal spirit. You are purchased with this blood. This blood was offered for you. This blood was a price that God has to pay so that you can be fine, so that you can be as he has imagined you should be. The blood was a cost. And today, I come to announce as a servant of God to you that that cost is a reality. It demonstrated your value. It demonstrated your usefulness to God and to your generation. Any man that is wise cannot pay a huge price for nonsense. Any man that is wise will not pay a high price for something that is worthless. When men look at value and usefulness, they pay price. If God can pay with his blood for you, for your well-being, for your security, for your preservation, then there is something about you that you have not seen. And today, I pray my the same blood be in into your system, into your bloodstream, into every part of you. And let everything that heaven carried for you, have for you, begin to flow into your spirit. This is my decree to you tonight. This is my prayer. May God bless you. May God lift you up may god set you free may tonight become a fresh night of encounter as you lay down to sleep something will break out in your spiritual realm because the word you have you heard is not just word it's a spirit and this spirit will create an atmosphere of an encounter in your home and something new will begin to break out may you be blessed may you be lifted may you be exalted may the god of heaven Bless you beyond measure. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I would like to see you on Sunday. We are going to be broadcasting at the church on Sunday. We are broadcasting at the house today because of the coffee and the lockdown. But on Sunday, we are going to be broadcasting at the church. And the uh, Please connect with us. The time is 10 a.m. Sunday. Please join us. Join us via this platform. We're going to be broadcasting. Join us and the God of heaven will definitely bless you. Shalom. May you be lifted beyond measure. May you be lifted. May, please, if you have listened to this broadcast, I want you to Set your spirit in order tonight. You are going to have encounter. I don't want you to be have a lot of noise around you. Prepare yourself. After this broadcast, pray. Sleep. Say, Lord, every voice of blood that inherited, that is speaking dark things around my life, let spiritual dialysis happen. And I am telling you, something will break out for you. May God bless you. I will come your way again on Sunday. Shalom. Shalom.